that we throw. Because I expect a harvest. I know that when I put this word forth, that there will be a harvest from it. It may be a great harvest. It may be a small harvest. But whatever the harvest, it's an important harvest. I don't care if it's small. I don't care if one soul gets saved. I don't care if 500 souls get saved. As long as someone's coming to the altar, that's all I care about. As long as someone's getting the help that they need, that's all I care about. So I will throw seed intentionally. Come We've got to throw seed intentionally in our families. We've got to throw seed intentionally into our children. Don't just live uh, just haphazardly with your children and expect them to serve God. You've got to put it in them. It says train up a child in the way that they should go. That means you're being intentional with the way you raise your children. You're being intentional with the way you speak to your husband or wife. Don't be screaming and being mean at your wife and expect Come on. Right. Oh, I'm not getting no love. That's Come okay. on, amen. I know, that's a tough pill to swallow. We can't be screaming at our significant other and then expect God to bless our marriage. No, shut Come up. On. Amen. Be quiet for once. My goodness. So you got to be intentional with your marriage. Yes. If you're not intentional with your marriage, the devil will be intentional with your marriage. Yes, he will. If you're not intentional with your children, the devil will be intentional with your children. Yes, he will. He'll lay out uh, stumbling blocks. He'll lay out all these things so that your children and your marriage, your workplace will get messed up. He's intentional, then why aren't we? Yes. We've got to be intentional with the seed that we plant. We've got to be intentional. I'm expecting a harvest when I put this seed in the ground. Right. The second thing you got to do is you got to pick the right ground. Right. You got to understand that not all dirt is is good for a plant. Right. Not all dirt that you have, not all grounds that you have is good and helps a plant grow. You've got to be intentional with the ground that you pick. Right. Right. You can ask every farmer. They're testing the soil. They're making sure that that soil has got the right pH levels, got the right uh, amount of nutrients that it needs. And that's, they're very intentional with the ground that they plant their stuff in. Why? Because they know that the ground is just as important as the seed. Right. That's good. If the ground is, if the seed's important, then the ground is just as equally as important. That's why Jesus in the parable said that somebody threw seeds and one landed among the thistles and it couldn't grow. One landed on the rocks, couldn't grow. And then one was planted in good ground and that's right. when that seed could grow. Right. You've got to be intentional also with your ground that you pick. Uh, come on. You can't be going and sowing your seed in fields of doubt. Come on. You can't be going and sowing your seeds in a field of fear. No. You can't be going and sowing your seeds in a field of bitterness. Right. You can't be going and sowing your seed yeah. in a field of unforgiveness. No. Right. You can't, and especially, you can't sow a seed in a field of sin. That's right. I've got to be intentional with the ground that I'm planting in. Because I want to make sure that that ground is going to be the right condition for this seed to grow. If I want my family, if I want them to grow in the ways of the Lord, then I need to make sure that they're in the right soil. I need to make sure that they're in the right place. I need to make sure that their home is the right soil. Yes. I got to make sure that my home is just as godly as, the, as God's house. Yes. Yes. Right. Oh, we treat God's house with so much respect, but we'll go home and listen to the most filthy, yep. nasty Come thing on. in the world. Yep. We'll watch filthiness on our TV. On. We'll Come go on. and watch filthiness. We'll talk filthiness in front of our children and wondering why God's not blessing us. Come on. Because my house is supposed to be just like this house. Yep. Right. Amen. I should like, treat my house right. with the same respect Hallelujah. that I treat God's house. The way I would talk in God's house should be the way I talk at home. Right. Amen. Amen. 